אמבסדור לינה קייסה מיקולה. שלום and good evening. I would like to thank you for your very kind hospitality. You have spoiled us uh, tonight at your residence with an evening at the opera. And uh, it was a delight for which we are grateful. Ambassador, I would like to ask you, as a, a relatively newcomer to Israel, what is your impression of Israeli culture? Well, my impression is that there is so much to offer. It's very rich, uh, very interesting, very colorful, very unique in many ways. Unfortunately, as I told people here tonight, that, that uh, life is hectic and busy, so I'm not able to enjoy it, enjoy it as much as I should. So what I then did was I invited Israeli culture to come to my home and, and uh, shared the pleasure with many friends and guests. And as I said before, it was quite a delight. And I'm sure that during your uh, posting here, uh, you will find, hopefully, mm -hmm. the time also to go out and sample <laughs> all the wonderful things that Israeli culture can offer. Ambassador, you are the first ambassador to be interviewed by Culture Buzz. Mm -hmm. And uh, since we are dealing with culture, and our uh, mandate is to expose mm -hmm. Israeli culture as much as we can. Mm -hmm. I would like also to ask you, since you come from Finland, if you see any meeting points mm -hmm. between Finnish culture and Israeli culture. Well, you know, I, I still am on a learning curve because I've been here for six months. But uh, yes, I, I, I could think that there are some meeting points and maybe later on I can identify those even more. But I think that the, the size of our countries, we are a little bit more than five, you are a more than seven rather small countries, uh, but with lots of uh, innovation and, and aim for a certain kind of excellence. I think that that is not only in the field of, of, of uh, high tech, or, or economy, but it's also something that you feel in your mind, and that's maybe that could bring some similarities in, in the field of culture also. And when one thinks about similarities between our two countries, our two nations, the colors of the flag yes, will be one. That's true. The courage to face. Mm -hmm much bigger forces during our history and even overcome them. Mm -hmm. And also, unless I'm wrong, when it comes, uh, for example, for classical music, there are fantastic Finnish uh, musicians mm -hmm. who are doing very well abroad. Yes, yes, and you know, to, to my surprise, uh, and maybe not to my surprise, but to my I'm glad about it that uh, some of those also come to Israel. Like a couple of weeks ago, I read from the newspaper. I didn't unfortunately know that beforehand. One of uh, the best uh, musicians, a violinist, Beck Kosisto, was here. And also, there is a very good uh, Finnish, Finnish young man uh, studying in Tel Aviv University. He was number two in the violin competition of Sibelius and uh, he is here studying music with his Israeli teacher. I'm happy to hear that. Yes. Impressive. And if I'm not wrong, uh, this week the Israeli opera mm -hmm. is uh, bringing uh, Janacek's Yanufa, and I, if I'm not wrong, one of the singers is a Finnish. One, one male singer is yes. Yes. And also, uh, I think it's the Tel Aviv Symphony Orchestra in the end of February place in Landia. Fortunately, I'm in Finland, so I have to, that time, so I have to enjoy my Finland day. Ambassador, I would like to thank you very much and to wish you that you will indeed find the time to get acquainted more than you already have with uh, the delights of 
Israeli culture and maybe build a bridge between our artists to the benefit of uh, both of our people. That's something I would very much like to do. Thank you very much. Thank you.